Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me prend tout bas. Je bois la viande. Hey guys, how's it going? It is so good to be back for another video. I have missed you all. Um, today I'm sharing with you two of my very favorite spring and summer beachy hairstyles. But if I'm being honest, I do these year round because I love beachy hair. It's my absolute favorite. I am also moving to Hawaii next month. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Um, and so I will definitely be doing either one of these styles every single day, there's no doubt about that. So here is the first style. It is my absolute favorite because it is so easy to do. I'm serious, it takes me about 15 minutes to do and it requires very little upkeep. And here is the second style. Like clearly we've added some waves and if you guys noticed, I wore my puka shells for this very occasion, so. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is my natural hair. It is very straight naturally, although it does have a little bit more volume because we're working with day three hair, and so the volume is thanks to the dry shampoo. But um, I'm actually super happy with how it looks right now. It does not normally look this shiny. Can you see like how good that looks actually? Um, yeah, that is day three hair, and so I've been getting really lucky. I just found this amazing product called the Verb Ghost Hair Mask. Oh my gosh, so I heard amazing things about it, had to give it a try for myself, and it holds up all of its claims, that is for sure. I put this on in the shower in place of my conditioner, just to give my hair an extra dose of moisture, and... I was honestly thinking that it was probably going to make my hair a little heavy and weighed down because that's normally how hair masks, what a lot of hair masks that I've tried have done, but it absolutely does not do that. And it gave my hair just the prettiest shine and glossy look to it, which I don't normally have since I bleach my hair, so my hair typically is very dull and frizzy and the hair shaft can be brittle and so... I'm just not used to it looking pretty, um, like this. You can get it at Sephora or Urban Outfitters, and it's always $16. Everywhere I've looked, it's $16, so hallelujah, it's affordable. I'm pretty sure they named this the Ghost Hair Mask. Well, they have a whole ghost line, but I'm pretty sure they called it ghost because after you put it in your hair, you literally can't feel it. It leaves zero residue. It's insane, actually. Also, they add the amazing Moringa oil. Um, I did some research on Moringa oil. It comes from a plant in Africa, and um, Moringa oil helps with healing a dry scalp and eliminating dandruff. It also helps repair split ends, and I do have split ends. So really, the product just kind of works for everyone, um, all hair types, whoever you are. It's also color safe, so my bleached hair friends, you're in the clear there. And I do want to go over ingredients really fast because if only you guys knew the amount of crap that companies will put in ingredients into beauty products these days, you would absolutely cringe. I highly recommend looking into all of your beauty products to make sure that they are free from the crap um, and also that they're cruelty free before you buy them. But Verbs products don't have parabens, no gluten, no sulfates in them and they're all cruelty free. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about all those things before we got into the styling because my hair prep is so insanely important um, because I only wash my hair every three days and so when I do wash my hair I need to make sure that my hair is like set to go um, for those three days and to make sure that it's really healthy and feels good. So now we finally get to the styling. So the first style is more of an everyday option. I do this one more often than the other style because it's just so easy. It only takes me about 15 minutes or so to do. So if you're a whiz with the curling wand, then you'll be grand. I use this one inch curling wand. The brand is Pro Beauty Tools. I think I got it at TJ Maxx for about 20 bucks. 
So the important detail to remember about this style is that we need to alternate the direction of the curls. I'm sure you've heard that tip a hundred times, but I'll still say it because it's important. So there we go, there's our first one right there. So because I wrapped that one away from my face, I'm now going to wrap the one right next to it towards my face. Now these are a little bit different because I go like this, I kind of pull it and pull it back and forth along the hair shaft um, just to kind of give it less of a coil and more of just a loose, maybe it doesn't make much of a difference but I don't know, I've always done it that way. <laughs> and I definitely do that on this one because I just want a very very loose curl to frame my face. I don't want anything that looks really tight. There's that whole side. Very, very nice. My eyes, I see love you. When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart. A world of roses bloom. And when you speak, angels sing from above. So now that we are all done with the hot tools, here comes products to keep your hair looking fly all day long. I'm not even joking, you guys. These burp products are the real deal. They literally sent me a freaking fanny pack with my order. Like how? Yeah, because I ordered them online. So inside we have <clears throat> my favorite products from their line. We have the Sea Spray and the Sea Texture Spray. And I know they sound exactly the same. This is just a sea salt spray. They also add some oils to nourish your hair. But this is just to give your hair a bit of like, it's like as if you were to spray your hair with some salt water. I spray this in my hair when my hair has a little bit too much curl to it and I want it to kind of loosen up a little bit. So I'm not going to spray too much, but just a little bit. Oh, I just sprayed that in my face. Oh my gosh, I just did it again. Why do I keep spraying myself? LOL. My face still feels crusty. And then the second one is the Sea Texture Spray. I'm almost out of this stuff because of how often I use it. I will keep on buying this again and again and again. This stuff is basically like a light hold. So it's like a light hold hairspray, but it also adds some dry grit and some volume, which I really need in my root area because for some reason my hair just kind of gets pulled down. And so what I do is I just spray this into my roots, into the hair framing my face, and a little bit just in here because it just adds some volume and texture and I just think it looks so pretty. I've never found a product, a hair product that I like so much. Period. This stuff freaking works. All right, and that is the first style. Come on guys, like how gorgeous is it? Like it's just so effortless. Just perfect for an everyday occasion or even like a night out. Like it just works in every situation I've found. So now that we're all done with this, I'm gonna show you the next style. Okay, so now it comes to the second style. So this style is true beach waves, people. Okay, know this. You will never find a better tutorial or a truer tutorial, I should say, for beach waves. So I have spent so much time experimenting and researching waves to make the perfect beach waves, like the waves that look like you just came out of the ocean. And I finally, came up with this. Um, I've never seen anyone else do it this way. This is all of my own devising. Do have caution though 
when you do your hair like this, you will probably look like a pro surfer who never does their hair. So you may look like a ragamuffin, but you'll be a cute ragamuffin. <laughs> I really like the messy hairstyle, so I like this, but it might not be for everyone. So just wanted to say that to get that out of the way. Okay, so you're going to need two tools for this. You will need a waver, something that looks like this. This is from the brand Revlon. Um, I don't even know if they still make these, but I got this in middle school, so yeah, it's that old. And then you'll also need one of these guys. You guys remember these? Um, yeah, so just a small curling wand will do. Um, anything smaller than three-fourths of an inch is perfect because we want small curls for this one. But we're going to be starting with our waver. Now before we start, if you don't have one of these, because I know that there are a lot of people who do not have one of these, you can start this style with braiding your hair while it's damp and then sleeping in it. Um, or, what might even work better perhaps, is braiding dry hair and then spraying some sea salt spray into it and then going to sleep and then you wake up with like salty waves. So we're just going to be starting um, from the back to the front. So yeah, we're just gonna start with this. And if you guys don't know how a waiver works, it's pretty straightforward. You just clamp it down, hold it for a little bit, and then you clamp it down again, and again, and then you've got your wave. Super chill. This style does take a little bit longer, just be aware. And we're gonna go ahead and just fast forward through this. She lifts her skirt up to her knees, walks through the garden rows with her bare feet laughing. I never learned to count my blessings. And that is how it looks. Pretty, pretty beachy, right? Flip that back, and now we're gonna start the other side. Down the hill, through the grass, grown tall and brown, and still it's hard somehow to let go of my pain. On past the busted back of this. Old and rusted Cadillac that sinks into this field, collecting rain. Will I all... Let me just make sure I got everything. It look like I got everything? I think I did. Now that we've got our hair all waved, um, this style is really pretty. Uh, I know a lot of people who leave their hair like this, but I don't because to me this still looks a little bit to uniform. Okay, so now with this, this, the whole purpose of this iron is to break up the uniformity of the waves. So basically you don't want to curl every single wave, but just, you know, every other one maybe or whatever. So I'm just going to take a random piece here and I'm going to go like this and I kind of pull it down to the smaller part of the weight of the weight. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Cool. And then it leaves us with this kind of like quirky looking thing. That's exactly what we want. Lay up last the grass chair. Let fall flowers from your head and kiss me with that. Now I always curl the front piece because to me it just looks better than having it waved. Just doing that and it just looks pretty cute. So let me go to the other side and then I'll come back and see if I want to change any pieces but This front piece here. I like it. I like it so much. 
Okay, and then just to follow the theme of the first style, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna finish with our products. So I'm gonna start with this, just to give it a little bit of a weighed down. Salty feel. And then pretty much just to boost up the front. I'll spray that. Boom. With this one, like the more messy, the better, really. Because it'll look like you have natural beach waves, right? So it'll just look like you're so beachy. Whew. Eucalyptus, calm down. And that is our second look. Stop! And now we are at the very end of our second look. Thank you guys for following along with this video and let me know if you tried either of these styles yourself or if you have any questions at all, I'd be happy to help. Also, I left all of the product links in the description. Definitely check them out. I think that you'll really like them because I don't lie to you guys. All opinions are my own and I really think that these products will help amplify your hair looks. And what else? Nope, that's all. <laughs> that is all for today, folks. I love you, and take care and be blessings. All right, bye.